Hey, this is Greg Perkins. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your Leica Captivate software for static GNSS surveys. I have my CS20 data collector connected to a GS18i receiver. I like to manage my settings through a working style. So what I'm going to do is go to Settings, Customization, Working Style Wizard. I've already started the process by creating a working style, so I'm just going to go ahead and select Edit. If you don't have a static working style, you can select the box that says Create. Press Next. I want to make sure your name is correct. Press Next. Um, you don't have to go through every screen. I'm just going to go through uh, the screens that I typically want uh, to make sure I manage through the working style. Uh, so the first one would be our satellite tracking. Make sure that we have all of our satellite constellations that are enabled on our receiver checked here. Um, and then we can go over to our advanced tab and we can look at our cutoff angle. I normally set this to four degrees for static surveys. This will track satellites down to four, just four degrees above the horizon. I usually don't have a DOP limit set, so I'll go ahead and set that to none. And I want to make sure that I have multipath reduction and interference mitigation checked. So I'll press OK. That'll move me to the next page. On this page, I can set my default rover antenna. Uh, you can certainly you can do static surveys either on a pole, on a pillar, or on a tripod. With the like, if we use the GS18 tripod option, please note that this does set a vertical offset. This is designed to use our tribrac and spacer and antenna with a height measuring device, and the offset is set here for the height measuring device so that you can measure straight to the ground with that setup. So uh, we'll just go ahead and set this to a GS18 on a tripod, press OK. Um, since we're doing static surveys, we're going to make sure that the tilt is unchecked. Now, with the GS, this is specific to a GS18. You won't have this option for the other Leica receivers, but just make sure that chill, check tilt compensation status is unchecked. And I like to uncheck the box here that says automatically stop measurement and check quality because this is, again a static survey. But I do like to make sure that the box is checked here that says automatically store point. So I have that checked, I'll press OK. Check the box here that says log GNSS data for uh, raw data. And you can either store this data on the CS controller, on the GS sensor to a memory card, and with the GS18s, you can also store to the internal memory. So you don't need to make a decision on how you do that. If we do that to the, the CS controller, we can control the survey inside the measure application. So we could set this to log data when our dynamics are static or static and kinematic. And you can set your log rate. So that depends on the type of survey you do. In this case, I'm gonna choose five seconds. And then if that's how I want to set for the controller, we can move on. If I want to store my data to, the, uh, S to an SD card in the sensor, I have the same option here for uh, static or dynamic. And then I can log data again, I set my data rate. So a couple of things that are different here is you can uh, set this up so that you can start a survey using the measure application and then continue to record the data to your receiver. Or you can set this to after GS sensor is booted up. And what will happen on your receiver is when you turn it on and it begins to track satellites, that raw data will be recorded. So the difference there is, is if you use the measure app, you can put some metadata for the point, uh, point number, height in. Uh, if you use the option that says after GS sensor is booted, then you will need to make some notes uh, because you will get a file, a temporary file on your GNSS receiver that doesn't include things such as point numbers or uh, instrument heights. If you store to the uh, antenna, you also have the option, if you purchase the option, to store the data either in Leica format, which is our default, or in Rhinex format. Again, the Rhinex format is a purchased option. If you need more information on that, please talk to your sales rep. In this case, we're going to go ahead and do, uh, we're going to set this receiver up to do to the CS controller. We're going to set it to static, and uh, we're not going to be doing any moving. This is just a static observation. We're going to be on our points for 15 or 20 minutes. Then we're going to log data every five seconds. So I have that set. I'll press OK. 
Again, we have another tilt compensation box. I want to make sure we turn that off as well. Uh, your point templates, you can set that how you, as you like. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, scroll through uh, the different options. Um, I do like to, on this page, on the coding page, to set this to only code points, no line work. And the reason I do that, that allows me to configure my, my measure page, since I'm going to store the data internally, uh, to show me some information. So I'll press OK on that. Here on my user defined pages, I'm going to define page one. I'll press edit. And I typically have my second line set to antenna height. The first line is by default point ID and can't be changed. The third line I set to code. My fourth line is set to GDOP so that I can monitor that while I'm in the field. My fifth line is set to time at point. And my sixth line is set to log raw data. Uh, and that actually says log raw data counter, and that counts up the number of epics that you have stored uh, data on your, or that you have received. Then uh, normally I would set the rest of these to be either uh, to be an unused line, uh, or if there are there are other options that you could select as well. So I'll press OK on that after I have it set how I want. Press OK, and pretty much done with my settings in my working style. And once, once I'm complete with my working style, I do get this message that tilt compensation is active. Uh, so I've been using this, use, this unit as an RTK Rover using tilt, and I do wish to start stop the, the tilt compensation. So a couple of things, um, when you set up a new working style, it does tend to carry things like your RTK settings, RTK profiles with it. So you'll notice that I have a, a radio receiver here at the top of the screen. So I did have the last working style that I had set up was a uh, base rover RTK setup. So what I want to do, uh, since this is a static survey, I may be sitting here for several hours. I want to preserve my batteries, things of that nature. What I want to do here is go ahead and disable any RTK and settings or anything like that. So what I would then do is go to settings connections, all other connections. I'll come over to my GS connections and you'll see here on my RTK Rover, it does have me using an, uh, a GS radio. So I'll press edit and uncheck receive RTK data. Press OK and our radio went away. And I'll press OK. So now we have our receiver set up for static survey. Now, one caveat, if you're doing this with a Leica GS18, when you finish creating your working style, there is one other thing you need to make sure you do, and that's go to settings, go to GS sensor, and then go to raw data logging. Now you remember we went through and checked the box that said log GNSS raw data, but we need to come back here again, select that, and go ahead and reset this setting. Uh, and again, you have to do this with the GS18 after you create the working style. And that's one, the other reason why I do like to use a working style for this is because, but is because of the tilt compensation. Um, it is a double process to enable the, the static raw data. We need to disable the tilt, and then we need to again come to this GNSS raw data logging screen and enable the, the raw data logging. If you use a working style um, when you switch out of your RTK working style to the static working style. Once you have all your settings correct, this will be uh, set for you. So again, just remember, first time you create your working style, make sure you check this page. So I'll press OK. So I am now ready to begin my static survey. So again, um, tracking 24 satellites, I've created my project. I would go to measure, put in my point ID, put in my height, put in my code, I can scroll down, I can look at my GDOP, nothing else on my screen at this point, then I press measure. When I press measure, I can then scroll down and it'll tell me I've been in my point for a period of time and I have logged raw data. And every five seconds it's going to log another uh, epic of data. If you wanna check this, there is another way to confirm that you are ro logging raw data and you can check this. So you can go to your satellite symbol here at the top, click on that, go to data logging, and this will also show you the observations that you have logged. 
So when you've been at your point for the prescribed period of time, we do recommend uh, a minimum of five minutes plus one minute per kilometer. Once you're finished with your measurements, you can press stop. Point stored. And because we told it to auto stop, auto record the data, it automatically stored that point and you're ready to take another observation. If you want to re-observe the same point, you would put the same point number back in, put your height back in again, and press measure. And that's your static survey settings in Leica Captivate.